About 12.30pm on Saturday the 28th of July 1984, 17-year-old Megan Mulquinney was last seen standing outside Woden Plaza. An extensive investigation by police spanning 33 years has failed to reveal her movements or location after this time. In 2009, an inquest into Megan's disappearance determined it extremely likely that she met with foul play and was murdered by a person or persons unknown. The place, manner and cause of Megan's death remain unknown. In April 2018, a man acknowledged during the inquest as the primary suspect into Megan's disappearance, Paul Vincent Phillips, died. As a result of his death, a number of people have come forward to assist police, and as a result of this assistance, police now believe that Paul Vincent Phillips did not act alone. Paul Vincent Phillips spent the majority of his adult lifetime incarcerated for a series of violent sexual offences against young women. He lived a nomadic lifestyle, as was evidenced by his time in the ACT region, where he resided at 17 different locations. This included caravan parks and camping grounds. Paul Vincent Phillips was known to prey on his victims as they entered open car parks. One such incident occurred only two months after Megan was last seen leaving her workplace at Big W in Woden Plaza. His victims would often appear young, have childlike features, they were petite in build, approximately 5 foot 4 inches tall, and would wear their shoulder length hair out. This description matches that of Megan. We know there are people who are aware of the circumstances surrounding Megan's disappearance. And we are appealing to these people to have the courage to come forward and to speak to police. The investigation into Megan's disappearance did not die with Paul Vincent Phillips and we continue in our search for answers. We will accept any information and we will explore all lines of inquiry that result from that information. Anyone with information is encouraged to contact us directly via a dedicated mobile number 0457 844 917. Or if you'd like to speak to us in person, we'll be set up at Woden Plaza about midday this Saturday the 28th of July, the anniversary of Megan's disappearance. Information can also be provided anonymously via Crime Stoppers. In Megan's family uh, to this day do not know her whereabouts or the circumstances of her death. Uh, and those answers and uh, the investigation that we're conducting uh, will hopefully help them um, get some closure, but uh, that's, that's something that motivates us on a daily basis. Uh, we believe there are people in the community that do know uh, the circumstances of Megan's disappearance or may be able to assist us at least in our investigation. Um, it may be that those people carry a significant burden uh, whether they know the whereabouts of Megan or the circumstances, um, we implore them to come forward and speak with us to assist us in uh, gaining closure for the family. Uh, and we implore anybody in the community that has any information in relation to Megan's disappearance to contact us directly. Even information that might um, appear insignificant um, to people in the community, uh, every tiny amount of information, no matter how insignificant it may seem to somebody, might be that one piece that we need to help us uh, determine exactly what occurred and what happened to Megan.